Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, I got a little project today. I was uh, in Walmart and just happened to be in the Hot Wheels aisle. Just happened to be. And I saw this, Holly, this Hot Wheels Boulevard edition of a Volvo P220 Amazon Estate with the real riders. And it just occurred to me that I can do something with this. So I debated for a little while. Of course, it's a, uh, it's a premium casting, and so uh, a little more money, but uh, I thought, you know, uh, I'd probably spend the, more than that on wheels if I were to buy it and put just do a wheel swap. So I picked it up, and that is going to be our project for today. Uh, this uh, We're going to tear it down. Got a different paint job for it. Probably going to keep the real riders. Uh, I think I'm going to chrome them out a little bit, but we're just going to give it the Somo Diecast touch and see how uh, what we can do with it. So let's go ahead and get this thing blown apart, see what the pieces and parts are, and we will get this build going. Everybody, please stay tuned. All right, we got our little Volvo all blown apart. Volvos are interesting little cars. It looks like uh, they always look like an old, uh, the older ones. I think they were there were they were the 210 or something like that. That it looked like a uh, like a 40 Ford or a 46 Ford. <laughs> anyway, uh, one post. I already got it drilled and tapped with the 256 screw. Got some nice detail. Like I said, it is a uh, premium casting, so that paint could be interesting to get off. Brand new window unit, all pristine and pretty, so we don't have to do anything with that. And this is our uh, interior, or not our interior, our grill, and the a little bit of chrome on the dash, which uh, you know, I, think, I don't think I'm even going to strip this. I think I'll leave the chrome, paint the dash, and detail it out a little bit. Got an interior with a roll cage and a spare tire in the back. So that, that ought to be interesting to detail a little bit. And a metal base. With, uh, like I said, it has the real riders on it. And uh, I think I'm probably going to keep the real riders, but I'm toying with the idea of maybe chroming them out a little bit. And uh, trying to decide what to do, whether to paint the base or leave it alone or polish it. Hmm. Not a lot of detail to pick out on it, but uh, yeah. All right, well, we'll figure out what we're going to do with that in a bit. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the casting in the stripper, and we'll get the rest of this all sorted, and we'll get this build going. So, everybody, please, stay tuned.
All right, before we get to the reveal, let's take just a moment and look back at where we started. This brand new from the blister Volvo P220 Amazon Estate Hot Wheels Boulevard Edition. Let's uh, go ahead, get to the reveal, and we will see how this little guy came out. So everybody, please, stay tuned. All right, we have our little Hot Wheels Boulevard Edition 2022, or I think it's a 2020 casting of a Volvo P220 Amazon Estate or as we call them here in the United States, a station wagon. And when I saw this in that kind of yucky yellow, I decided it, it had to be, it had to look better. So uh, it already had the rail riders on it. So I, I kept the wheels, but I did go ahead and strip it down, clean up the casting a bit. And I uh, painted it uh, with the, uh, <clears throat> it's a Tester's Color Shift Emerald Turquoise. And as with about any time I do these color shifts, it's really hard to see the color shift. But I think if I get a good light angle on it, you might see a little of that. But it's a really pretty color. My wife picked this out and I thought this is perfect little car for it. So uh, overall, I can't say I'm unhappy. It's a pretty little thing. Once we had it painted, I went ahead and uh, detailed out the body. Uh, just kind of scraped the paint away from the uh, various chrome strips down the side around the front, around the windshield, around the rear window, and the trim on the tailgate, and on the little hood uh, molding. The headlights and taillights were done in chrome and then detailed with a little amber and white, and the same on the taillights and the backup lights. The base, we painted a satin black Krylon, and uh, then chromed the bumpers. Uh, I did leave the chrome on the grills and uh, just kind of mask off and hit that same satin black on the dash and steering wheel and on the interior. Didn't really do any detailing on the inter interior. It's really difficult to see. I did hit a little on the dash and uh, I think I chromed the shift knob. <laughs> That's about it. Well, anyway, I hope you like this uh, video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not currently subscribing, I hope you will. And when you do subscribe, ring the bell and you will be notified of any future videos that are coming up. And be sure you share with your friends. Well, thank you again for watching. I hope Again, you like this video. If you have a suggestion for something you'd like to see me build, uh, leave it in the comments. I uh, read all the comments, do my best to get back to everyone, or at least to acknowledge your, your comment. And uh, thank you again. I will see you in the next.